Hey guys, welcome to uh, 520 Speedworks. Uh, first off, I want to thank you for purchasing our uh, boltless roll bar kit. Uh, for those of you that are here, you already know what you probably bought, but I can explain it anyways. Basically what this does, on the original kit, you would put a bolt that would go through this area right here called Frankenstein bolt. Uh, it's the way the kits are built. It's, uh, it's functional, it's just not pretty. Uh, with our new kit here, What's going to happen is this is essentially going to do roughly that, and it's going to uh, hold the hold the roll bar, roll bar together, and you will not have to have a bolt through there. So this video is here to uh, instruct how to install this. All right, guys, these are the tools that you're going to need for this. It's not uh, does not take a lot of uh, tools to install this kit. What you need is a 9/16 deep socket uh, on a 3/8 ratchet with uh, an extension longer than about six inches. You will also need a torque wrench that can, you can go old school like this, or new school with the click and snap. Uh, it needs to do up to at least 35 foot pounds. So, uh, and then you will need a strap wrench or a vise with the soft mounting claws. Um, you're gonna need blue Loctite. I don't recommend red if you ever want to disassemble this. You're only gonna use this in one place and uh, we'll get to that when we get on that. Some towels to help hold, those kind of things. All right, so first step, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take the inside of here and you're gonna wanna measure down about four to six inches, so in about this area. So somewhere about, if you land it up, somewhere about here, you're gonna wanna take and put some uh, emery cloth on like a, like a tube or something like that. And you're going to want to scuff the inside all the way around just to give it something a little more to bite to. Uh, it doesn't have to be super deep, just give it some scuffs on that. You also want to do the same thing in this area right here. And some of these sometimes have a little bit of a lip that needs to be ground off for this to fit smoothly in here. Um, what you also might have to do is you possibly might have, and you can see this one's been ground down a little bit, you might have to go and actually just take a little bit off of each one of these until it freely, until it freely slips inside. So uh, you can't take too much. The way the mechanism works is as it pulls down on the bolt, it pulls out. So it's going to grip once you finally, but you need to get enough to where you can actually get it to fit down there easily. Okay, so now after you have both of these ground down. All right, so after you, uh, after you grind down the inside, you're gonna wanna grab this guy like this. You're gonna wanna, Get the head of the get the head of the bolt to where it's just just at the top of the fingers, or just to the point that you can actually easily slide it inside the roll bar. Don't worry about the rubber band; just keep pushing, and the rubber band will generally it easily comes off, but the rubber band will come off. Slide it in. Now tighten this to where it's kind of hard to slide in. Make sure your all rod is loose. And then just slowly, slowly tap this in. Now you want to stop tapping when you're a quarter to an eighth of an inch. It does not have to be exact. Just, I like to go more of an eighth than a quarter. So right there. Good. All right, so now you very carefully, make sure the coupling is not coming out, but very carefully take the all rod out. All right guys, so let's say that your mechanism will not fit inside either the roll bar or the roll bar hoop. Um, what you need to do is take out, now this is a small one for the roll bar hoop, but you need to take this out, get yourself a set of sandpaper, this, and do this. This would be the slow way of doing it. What I like to do use is I like to use, make sure you grind on the back side, so the long side. I like to use a pair of pliers and just a little, a little grinder. And 
what I'll do is I'll do that to all six pieces and then I will reassemble and try to resert it into the roll bar or the hoop. If it goes, great, stop. If not, uh, don't. It should not take too much, especially if you do all six. So uh, that's what we do if it won't fit inside at the lightest setting. All right, so now as you take the, uh, take the all rod off, just set it aside for now and very carefully slip your wrench down to where it engages the engages the uh, coupler. Make sure that you're on and then just slowly start to tighten. Once you get it fairly tight to where you can't hold the bar anymore, then stop. Switch off. And now this is where your vise would come in. So you're going to need your torque wrench. You're going to either need your vise with soft pliers or you're going to need a, a strap wrench. Okay, so now that we have our strap wrench set up, our torque wrench with our extension, slip it down on the coupler. And now you're going to want to tighten this to 35. Thirty-five inch pounds or feet pounds, excuse me. So we're gonna just for sake, you guys are gonna understand. Once you torque it down, thirty-five foot pounds. Good. So now you take it all back apart. It is now tight in there. Now what you're gonna do is don't use red, but you can use some blue Loctite. Just put a very little bit of blue Loctite on the end of the threads that's going to slide down into this coupler. So you're going to slide, just reinstall this, slide it down, screw it in once again until that eighth of an inch is there. And now you're done with the back side of the roll bar. Set it aside, take a break, go have a beer, and now we're going to do the actual roll bar itself. Alright, now we're going to go, you've already ground inside here, you've ground this down to where it fits nice and easily. Same, same procedure, just push it in, take the rubber band off, if it came with a rubber band, might be tape, one of the two. And then just put this in, if it doesn't fit, you can tap it till so you get flush. Once you're flush, same procedure. Tighten. This side, of course, is easier because you got something to hold on to. You're going to do 35 foot pounds, click, click, and you're done. That's all you got to do. Now that you uh, have the couplers installed on both ends, uh, you, can, uh, you can go ahead and grab the rear one because the rear one has to go in first. So take the rear one, slide it on. Now you need to make sure that it goes all the way down to where it cannot go down any further because you're going to need the you're going to need the gap that's created here with the front roll bar. Grab the front roll bar. Slowly get the roll bar started on its mounts. And then slowly get it to go on. And then as you get there, Can, and you get everything there's a little wiggle room here and there front roll bars down and then you just screw the rear Roll bar up. And then your arms get tired. And 
And there you go. So that takes us to, oh, I broke a sweat. <laughs> so that takes us to here. So roll bar installed. As you can see, there is the force of a human being. This was previously tested by somebody else up to uh, about 20,000 foot pounds of force pulling it apart. Um, so I'm gonna put this disclaimer in here. There's been no safety testing on this. This is uh, use at your own risk. Uh, your big thing is, is that if you're upside down sliding backwards, you've got a lot bigger issues than this little section coming apart on you. So uh, I'm not gonna claim that it's gonna hold because I really don't know. Uh, so with that, this portion is done and it's now time to mount your roll bar itself. So right down here on the inside ones, it's recommended to put your bolts through the sides like this, then forward and back, especially here on the outside because once you have the body on, it's easier to put a bolt from the outside in than going forward to back on here, okay? So these two can be bolted. And then here in the back, you're gonna wanna put a bolt you're gonna to wanna to drill and put a bolt through this section of it. Now, once you do it, it's all together. Every time you do this, it's gonna go back to the same spot. So you won't have to re-drill. So you can drill this and call it a day and be done with it. Now, on this boltless roll bar mount, it works. It's the same setup for the passenger side. You're just doing it in an opposite direction. So with that, I wanna thank you guys for purchasing this kit. If you have any questions below, please feel free to contact us at any point in time and we can walk you through and help you out with it. So with that, have a good one. And once again, thank you. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you like what you see, hey, subscribe down below, give us that like button. You can also follow us on Instagram. Make sure that you have your post notifications turned on so you can uh, catch up on when we post something new. With that, have a good time and uh, ride on.